Well, greetings, fine folks, and welcome to another one of our uh, weekly devotionals as we continue our journey through a psalm of praise and thanksgiving, uh, Psalm 66. Today, we're going to read and reflect upon verses 13 through 15. The psalmist writes, I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows, those that my lips uttered, and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. I thought of a couple of things in reading these verses. First of all, they are verses that offer uh, thanksgiving, um, thanks and gratitude and appreciation uh, to God. Uh, but one of the things that's a little harder to notice uh, is that in these verses, 13 through 15, the psalm kind of shifts from the voice of community, the voice of a group, to an individual voice. And this happens uh, throughout this psalm and throughout the book of Psalms in general, this shifting of voices from a community to individual to community again. And it got me thinking of community. And it got me thinking of many of the ways that we are forced in this time of isolation and restriction to think of, of new ways of being and doing community. And many of us are, are living sort of isolated and perhaps missing out on that sense of community, living alone and without the physical contact of, of other people. Others among us are perhaps living closer together uh, with a community of people that perhaps we might need some uh, break and some space from every now and again. And, uh, and we're all doing community in virtual and electronic ways, ways that we have not uh, perhaps experienced before. And I think community always, always offers to us uh, unique opportunities, uh, and especially the, the community that we call church, the body of Christ, a faith community, uh, is often a community um, unlike our families and friends, it's often a community that brings together many diverse people, people that we may not have a whole lot in common with, uh, people that we might not always agree with, people that might drive us sort of nuts every once in a while. But I think that community always offers to us, if we're willing to engage in the opportunity, uh, the challenge to, to grow to learn more about ourselves, uh, to, to maybe be taken out of our comfort zone, to engage and encounter people that we're not really familiar with, and to, to learn new insights into our faith and, and to learn things like forgiveness and, and acceptance. And so I think community is sometimes very challenging um, even, even when we're not living in this virtual sort of uh, community that we're in right now, community can always be challenging. But I think in the end, it's always a good thing. And so I think that indeed, um, although we might not have to uh, offer any burnt offerings or goats or fatlings, as the psalm writer uh, alludes to, but that we might offer uh, praise and appreciation and gratitude for whatever sense whatever spirit of community we are now experiencing. Let us pray. Holy God, we might be experiencing community in all kinds of different ways right now, uh, maybe only through uh, virtual means, through electronic means, or just seeing folks driving by and, and rolling down the car window. We might be spending a lot more time in close quarters with people that uh, sometimes rub us the wrong way and we need your patience. 
And we reflect that in all times and in all places, we are called to be the body of Christ and that that faith community, the church, can also be invigorating and inspiring and also very challenging and disconcerting to us as well. So help us to just live into whatever sense, whatever spirit of community we are afforded in this time and place, to learn from it, to grow from it, to be supported and nurtured by it, and to offer our thanks and appreciation for it and for you, holy God, who always gives us uh, a sacred and divine community with you. In your holy name we pray, amen. Thank you.